everyone. So today I felt like having some vegetable soup. Uh, here are some of the ingredients that I plan on using in today's quick pot. Um, so we have some wet ingredients and our peppers and our different colors, our seasoning peppers, our dry seasoning, and um, stay tuned, there's more to come. You would like me to forget who I am, turn my back on all of my pride, won't you be glad if I just lay down and die? Blossoming into dreams that bear fruit And ain't it something how I could survive and be strong Through your lies and my deep hidden truths I've known it forever, but life didn't permit That I shout and declare to the world into dreams that bear fruit and ain't it something how I could survive and be strong through your lies and my deep hidden truths I've known it forever but life didn't permit that I shout and declare to the world that I'm strong and I'm beautiful, and I'm far more than your eyes can see, and I know, and you know, and they know, I'm a queen, it's just the black woman in me. So excuse me if I have to say so. 
to say it for me who knows all my secrets and whispers my fears and still loves unconditionally when I am belittled denied and short changed who insist I am somebody to Yeah, this cutting board is super heavy. Right? So I'm gonna try my best to keep my strength and to put all this wet seasoning into this pot. It's gonna be so yummy. Um, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. It's a rainy night out. And so this would go super great uh, with the weather. It's a cozy kind of night. So a warm bowl of soup, I believe, is just what I need. Look at that. Did I make that pot look super pretty? With all the reds and the orange. In the provisions, we have green banana, we have breadfruit, we have corn, we have pumpkin. Um, this is going to be super, super delicious. Stay tuned, y'all. So next up, I am going to put in all of the uh, dry seasoning that I like to use. I like to use the uh, complete, uh, Sazen Complete Seasoning, and I'm black, y'all. So there's really no measurements. I just pour in, and as the pot boils up, I start doing tasting, and I add anything that I think may or may uh, be missing or may need something else, all right? Um, yeah, basically that's how my dad, my parents, my grandmother, they kind of taught me this way. You kind of pour in and you be the judge of it. Of course, I'm watching for salt content because I do not want to have too much salt. I use a little bit of the adobo as well. And again, I do the same thing. I pour it in. And make sure I'm judging as I'm pouring in because I do not want to kill anybody. That would not be good, right? And then finally, I'm going to, well not finally, but just before I'm going to put in the Sazon Everything Mix seasoning. Um, this gives it a great flavor as well. And I pour in. A dash of this, a dash of that. pepper. I like black pepper. I like anything spicy. I'm from the islands, of course, you can tell from my accent. And so I like everything and anything that I can get my hands on to be super spicy at times, right? Just a little bit of a kick. I make sure I turn that around. I stir it. And I'm going to let everything kind of boil in, come to a boil. And then I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to taste it. And I can guarantee you right off the back, it's going to be super delicious. Stay tuned for more. Okay, I'm also gonna add some lentils to this because it adds flavor and texture to the soup. Um, and I really like it. I really enjoy lentils. It's a childhood peas that I used to enjoy um, tremendously. And I think this will be a great addition to this pot of soup. Next up, I'm going to use the uh, pop flavored soup mix. Um, again, from the Caribbean, if you're from Jamaica, if you're from St. Kitts, if you're from 
anywhere in the Caribbean really, you would find this and you would find that we would use this flavor uh, to just give the soup again a uh, great taste, a uh, great flavor, um, something that helps to add um, a delicious feel to it and it just goes down extremely well. I'll stir all of this in and whew, I can't wait y'all, I can't wait. Guys, I also like to drop this uh, seasoned pepper in there. I do not pop it. I just let it boil and mix with the flavors that's already in the pot and it kind of gives it a little kick on its own, a little bit of a flavor as well. So this is washed, clean, and ready for the pot. All right. Again, I mix everything and I'm gonna cover and let all the juices, the flavors come together nicely and I'll be back. Alright everybody, look at the colors of the soup. Oh my god, it looks so good and it smells fantastic. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Again, we have pumpkin, we have corn, we have sweet potato, we have breadfruit, we have green bananas. This is going to be delicious. We have carrots up in here. You guys, look at this. Look at the pumpkin. Woo! It smells super good. And I can tell you, I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna taste this and I'll let you guys know how it tastes, okay? Hang on, hang on. Okay. I'm gonna take some of it, just to taste. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. This is so good. Guys, the best thing about this is that there is no meat, no chicken, none of that. Okay, this is just a strict, strictly um, vegetarian soup. Um, and it is so good. You're not even going to miss the meat, the chicken, none of that. None of that. You have lentils up in there and all of the sweet peppers and all of the goodness. Oh God, I can't wait to fill a bowl and eat this. All right, we'll be back again. Everybody, it is done. Finished and ready to be served. It's still bubbling a little bit because I just cannot wait, right? I can't wait to eat this. Um, like I said, it's a cozy night, it's cool, and I'm ready. So come on, join me as I pour this into my little bowl of delish. Isn't that cool? I found this bowl in, uh, I believe it was Burlington, a couple of months ago, and um, Stay tuned guys, because I really have something awesome in store that's coming on board soon. Um, I'm creating a website. That website is called um, Caribbean Delish. And when I found this bowl, I thought that it gave me the inspiration to really go ahead. I thought that the universe was lining up with my ideas and things like that. So stay tuned for more. So look at this. Look at this, guys, and it tastes delicious. I wish you guys was here. I would really give you a bowl of this soup so you can talk about me. Yes, honey. Let's get it. I'll see you guys soon again, okay? Stay tuned.